This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. 14, verse 12. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than they, these, because I am going to the Father. Greetings, friend, and how are you today, folks? Thank you for tuning in. Today's message is entitled, Being Nice. Now, a lot of us uh, might have heard the song. There was a song by uh, Three Days Grace called uh, Dislike You, and it says, I could be angry, I could be mean, I could be dislike you. And a lot of times that we find that happens, it's easy to, it's easy to be mean, it's easy to be unkind, it's easy to be uh, inconsiderate of others. But the thing is, we need to realize that other people are our gateway. Uh, anyone could be our gateway out there. For instance, uh, when uh, Abraham was in jail, in uh, in Egypt, and uh, he uh, did a favor for the butler or the uh, the servant of the the pharaoh. He uh, the he uh, the pharaoh's uh, servant, the butler. He wanted to, uh, to have a dream interpreted. Now, most people wouldn't in those days, uh, the early Bible days. They wouldn't uh, other classes and people. They wouldn't talk with people that are, are uh, different classes. Uh, but he was showed kindness, and what Abraham did is he read the uh, dream of the pharaoh's uh, servant. And later on, the Pharaoh's servant uh, was a gateway because he entered, introduced him to the Pharaoh, and the Pharaoh uh, released Abraham from prison and gave him land and all the wealth. And, uh, and it was all because of that one little act of kindness that Abraham did to the Pharaoh's servant. And as each of us has to do that, sometimes we have to be out there, that person in line might have cut you off in the grocery store, or you're out in traffic and someone uh, you know, uh, cuts you off in traffic. Uh, maybe just you're in a store and uh, the person's really rude to you, they're unkind, someone butts in line. Um, we got to realize that we got to be kind no matter how much it hurts and how much you're pissed off. You're saying, like, like a little kid gets angry. Well, all that person did to me, I'll never get, get uh, forgive them. I'll always be mean and mean to the next person. Meanness, anger, and being unkind passes on as contagious. But we can turn that around, folks. We can be kind to people. We can learn to forgive. We can learn not to, to have anger, but to be nice to people. And it's, it's hard. It's not easy. But in the end, if we can do it together, we can start a contagion that will completely make the world a better place. And you never know who's your gateway. For instance, the other day, yesterday, I was, uh, I was driving my taxi in Halifax. Uh, and uh, a gentleman came with a wheelchair. Uh, now, I don't have a wheelchair van. I have a regular van. And uh, I was third in line, so there's a procedure that we do when we're taxis. You don't butt in front of someone else in line. Uh, if, there's, if there's two cars ahead of you, you give them the opportunity first. Well, the first car was, uh, was a van, and he didn't even look at the guy. The guy was tapping on the window, and the guy just ignored him. And the second person was a lady. She, wasn't, uh, she was on the phone. She wasn't aware. And I was a third car. Now, the gentleman asked me if I could take him, and I said, well, I would love to take you, but I first have to check with the other two cars and see if, they can, if they're available because I don't want to jump in line uh, and be polite. And the first driver, he, was a, he wouldn't even talk to me, and he had ignored me. I said, look, can you help this poor guy out? He's in a wheelchair. He's able to walk a bit to get in and out of the car. And this guy was like, oh, I don't do wheelchairs right off the bat. And it was, it was pretty rude, uh, and he didn't help. So the next lady was a lady, a good friend of mine, and I helped the gentleman into the car. I also helped him put him in the truck or his wheelchair, and he got home and successful, and he was happy. And he actually spread the, the, the goodness, the kindness that I, I seeded, the kindness that I made. When number one, my friend, she got a big tip. He, uh, he only went for like a $7 drive and gave her $20. He also spread the good word to people that actually cab drivers out there, people working, uh, are nice people. And they're not all you know uh, jerks like that first guy that wouldn't even, that wouldn't even acknowledge him when he was tapping at his window. And there's things that we got to do. We remember, you know, your grandmother was always like, when you were a little kid, always be nice to people. Always be nice to people. But what happens is we get older. And as we go through life, we, we, begin, to, we begin to see that other people are not nice to us. And instead of, you know, what we, or what we should be doing, we should be even nicer to them. Be, to say, be kind to your enemies and, and keep your enemies even closer. And the fact is we have to learn that again. We have to go back and think, you know, is it worth it to have all this anger bottled inside? Is it worth it to be mean to, to someone? Is it worth it to spread like the, a disease, cancer, uh, of, of, of being unkind to people? You know, it's, it's, it's the Lord that, that made us all, uh, you know, we're all considered equal under the eyes of God. And if someone mistreats you, 
uh, the Lord himself, he said, you know, if someone uh, hits you on one side, turn, turn the other cheek. And it's the same thing that we have to do. We have to learn. And we have to be kind to other people. So my message today is, is a very simple one. And it's a simple one your grandma taught you. Be nice to people. Always be nice to people. And, you know, we, we get to get together more often over there, folks. We've got to start networking. We've got to start spreading the word of being nice. Being nice, being kind, being polite. I mean, you, you go to the store and you see someone, uh, you know, has their hands full of uh, groceries or they're, they're, uh, they're senior citizen, someone. Just do something polite for a change. Open up the door for them. Let them in. Do just show one act of kindness. And you'll see that it will start spreading. And you'll actually feel better. You inside, it will make you a happier, better person. So, uh, like I say, let's, let's have a prayer here now. Father, I want to have the vision stretched out. I want to be stretched by you. I no longer want the world outside of me or my thoughts within me to determine my limitations. I am trusting you and help that you'll become, help me become a better person and be kinder to people. In the Lord, name Jesus, amen. Now, folks, let's grow together. Let's try to be nice to one another, and let's work on it. Let's, let's make this contagious, the being kind. In the Lord's name, if anyone out there is, uh, is not sure if they're, 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 they're uh, on the right path, if anyone's scared uh, to come, don't be afraid to come to Jesus. Don't be afraid to come to some spirit or God that, that is uh, making your life better. If, you, if today you said, let's, let's get together and say prayer, Lord Jesus, I pray in your name that anyone out there that needs help, needs guidance, and uh, wants to make you the, the, the sole center of their life, let them come to you in the name of Lord Jesus, amen. If you said that prayer with us, I believe that you are going to be saved today. Today, a miracle is going to happen in your life. And uh, so, folks, it's brief, it's quick, but remember, be kind. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much, and all the best, and no matter what, if you are a believing God, Jesus, Jehovah, uh, Islam, whoever you believe in, uh, Judah, whoever is your, your God, your belief, this, remember, put them first. Put yourself second. You are only a human. And put them first and uh, be kind to people. That's my message for today.